All right, welcome back to this grease pencil time lapse. I made this little house in Blender 2.83 Alpha, which you can get on the Blender page on the in the experimental section in the downloads area. And I was so excited to try these 2.83 features like vertex colors, and there's like a new camera rig, and um, better uh, rendering for the the strokes so there's not there's no jagged edges so i made this artwork just to test out everything from 2.83 see where all the, the the flaws are or the bugs i should say see what i should avoid maybe i should just stick with uh, 2.82 2.83 did crash a few times and of course i don't blame it it is an alpha it is gonna happen and 2.82 oh i hope i said 2.2 so 2.2 is of course much more stable so this is me. Uh, what I did was for this approach, I blocked everything out in what I saw in my head. You know, I blocked everything in, in 3D space. I made the little railings. I made the porch. What I did was I looked up all the uh, right sizes for everything. So for the doors, I looked up what the average height of a door is, the average thickness, the average width, the average size of a porch, the average size of the ceilings, the average size of steps. And how big they are, how, how high the railings are from the floor. So I wanted to make sure that I had all the measurements right. So at least that was correct and it would look uh, correct when you look at it. And honestly, it helped out a lot. I, so I really suggest using the correct increments if you're going to be... Um, if you're going to be doing any sort of like architecture stuff. Because your eye can tell. Even if you don't exactly know how like big a window or how high a window is supposed to be you can definitely tell when it's in the wrong place so all these are just temporary colors as i go through this is me renaming everything always rename your layers what's interesting about uh 2.83 and the vertex colors is that you can have one you can have one material for stroke and then one material for fill and you can use vertex colors and have any color that you want but the i think the downside of this is that if i wanted to select let's say all the red things that i colored or all the blue things that i covered it's only on one material so i can only deactivate one material and that'll deactivate all the colors so i'd actually have to go into edit mode and select them individually while before in 2.82 when i was using the material since i had to use a different material for every color and everything uh it was uh much more modulized so it was easier to to change the colors or select things so yeah I made the roof just once again looked up the schemat the schematics the dimensions of what a roof tile is used a, a bunch of array modifiers moved them up and uh, made a roof so all this is just prep work honestly if if you have a good basis a good base to to work from like and that goes with any art form like a drawing a storyboard anything it, it, things end up being a lot better so well this part is tedious it did help me out a bunch when i started drawing over it because i don't i don't need to struggle and fight the grease pencil to be a box when i can just make a box and draw on it for the materials i, I tried going fancy i haven't done them yet but i tried going fancy using like the like vertex normals or the face normals or the tangents but i eventually just opted for using emission shaders and making it a color and then drawing over it and using the vertex paint and, and coloring things so this is just me modeling through putting on uh basic basic materials of course i'm probably going to be or i am going to be using the the masking technique which I use for reflections on sunglasses on the window here and the masking system is is different as well and it actually took me a, a little bit to understand it so in the review I'll definitely be go, going over how to how to understand the the masking in blender because it now has its own little option at the in the layers menu on the stroke I was going to use uh, like blender lights on the grease pencil because in 2.83 alpha they have it so real the lights in blender actually affect the the grease strokes but it took me first it took me a long time to figure out how to even turn on that feature 
and I'll be going over that in the overview as well. But if you're just listening to this, what you have to do is in the stroke, when you go into uh, on the right side there, you'll see all those little colored icons. If you go to the one that's right above the modifiers, so the wrench is blue, the and then the tab above that is the object tab, I think. It'll have its own, the grease pencil will, object will have its own little section that says grease pencil and it just says use lights. And then when you click that, then that's when they're affected by lights. Hopefully that's understandable, but in the next few days, I'll, I'll definitely be going over this, so just wait for that. So this is, this is me setting up the materials and I'm trying to go all fancy, trying to do nice. I could definitely just go to the blender market or or go to the demo file from the, the grease project in the demo files in Blender and use that material. But I, I kind of like to understand the things that I'm making. So I like to build them from scratch. So eventually I'll probably make a more complicated shader a tune shader or maybe i'll just buy one off blender market and use that but i definitely would like to make you know something that uh, i like to understand it so build it myself so maybe i can pass that information to you so you don't have to go and buy you know a material when you can just build it yourself so this is me now finally drawing over the model and i'm using the i think the rough pen and it gives it that nice little inky texture and I change the options so the, the stroke is projected onto the surface. So this, this is just me drawing onto the surface. As you see, it's just, I'm building up the highlights. And really what I'm doing is, is I'm drawing everything. So I have to draw the highlights, the shading, and you definitely have to have some knowledge of like where your shading should go and what things should look like. So I use a lot of reference. So I looked up houses from different places. I looked up roofs uh and what the different types of roof there are and how big those tiles are how high it is from the ground like basically that's kind of like an average height where that porch lies for the amount of steps that i wanted this is me prepping the window and it gets a little difficult here i start like going back and forth because I, I put in the window and while i'm in the viewport it's like glitching around and you'll start seeing me going back and forth back and forth trying to figure out why the glass is glitching i'm just like looking at it i'm like what's wrong and i i realized that it was only glitching in the viewport and it wasn't glitching when i'm viewing it through the camera so eventually i just have to get over the glitching artifacts you'll see it just a little bit here they just flicker on and off and this is me remaking the windows trying to figure it figure out why it crashed there because of me trying to fix it and I ended up deciding going against it. I realized that it only happened in the the viewport and not through the the camera. Kept going. So this is me drawing the numbers. I tried to do a bunch of different um, versions of it. I'm not my handwriting is not too good. So it's just us me going through over and over and over again. When I do these projects, they get. Uh, as I as they take a long time because usually I want to do them in one sitting but honestly you can't you can't really make something really really good uh I mean you can in one sitting but something as complex as what I wanted to make you can't make it in in one sitting so this is uh this entire thing took me about seven hours and this is all condensed into 15 minutes so it definitely looks easy but this is just me grinding away bit by bit there's a point in time where you get like really discouraged because you don't think things are going the right way things aren't coming up to you know, your expectations and at some point you just got to get over it and uh just finish it move on to the next thing so i think it's all coming together here you know uh i did try some different palettes but i was i felt like i was spending too much time picking colors so i just left it at this pink and purple palette that i found on I think it's colorhunt.co, that's co. And uh, this is me building the vase material. Once again, wasting, just wasting time when I could have just used an admission from the get-go and move on. So in this whole beginning, I was using, there's an add-on in Blender called um, Camera Rig, and it has a 2D camera. This is only in 2.83, and it has a 2D camera rig and i was using it for a while and i could definitely see the use of it and why you would use it basically it makes it so 
it changes its focal length by the distance it is from the object you're focusing on and it's really good I think I'm gonna need some more time figuring it out because it ended up being a little bit more cumbersome than I wanted it to so I ended up eventually just going to a regular camera you can see that in the project file which you can download download in the description so uh, this we started getting closer to the part that I finally wanted to get to which is like the animating part so this is me making the antenna putting at the top and I'll eventually animate the antenna swaying and the plant in the front moving around it's me putting highlights and shading on the on the antenna so it looks like it has some depth and overall this piece was uh this piece was a lot of fun to make I didn't have the idea to make uh, the hills yet and I actually didn't know how I was gonna make the grass because I'm I, at first I was thinking like maybe I'll just put grass all over the floor but I, I realized or the ground uh, but I realized that that would just take up too many resources and too much time so I looked up some cartoons and see how they do simple grass and I came up with well I didn't come up with it but this solution is what I saw in one of the cartoons I watched where they just have you know light green and then a little dark green strip like if the wind's pushing it and it, it gives it a nice windy day effect like the wind is blowing through the grass and uh it, it works pretty well right now it's super sped up so it looks like it's just flashing on screen but if you see it in the beginning you see that it's looking pretty good i liked it so much so i was like oh let me do it make some hills i put the hills on the back and i use the same technique i just did a little strip of um, grass it's a different color and this time what i utilized was i animated it and then i used an interpolation and then i used the multi-frame edit and edited all the different parts at once with the sculpt tool and that's how i was able to make it stretch up like that and give it the illusion that it was going over a hill because the hill was like round so i uh i was about to do it again from scratch but i waste of time so I just duplicated it flipped it around and that was the hill so for the clouds I, I did the kind of the same thing where I just shrinked it uh, I shrunk it down so it looks like they're moving in the back but really they're just shrinking down behind the, the house all these animations are using the modifier time offset that and with the the looping on so it just loops forever so this is just me doing the same thing making a keyframe in the beginning making a keyframe in the middle making a keyframe at the end and then interpolating those keyframes uh, if you look at my previous videos you can see how you're able to do that uh, if not I can go further in depth with it and I think it really once I put the grass there waving and the, the plant waving I thought it uh, ended up really really brought everything to life like I was less disappointed with it because uh, I ended up uh, liking a lot more once it was in motion once it came to life I thought that little that little bench was a little lonely so I put a little box on there put a little GM for grease monkey if you look at those sandals they're just they're just squares that I put uh, that I squished down and, and put the little band on the top I was by the end of this project I was pretty much done with this and I just wanted it to be done and sometimes you get to that point where you just want it finished and honestly that's that's probably a the the best time to be in in a project it's like right there you're like want to finish because this it's unavoidable like when you work on something long enough you're just going to start to like resent it so in these moments it's it's much easier to make the decision to move on so uh at the end I wanted to put somebody like a character in the window but I was just so like I said done with this project that I kind of just did this really quickly put it together and just tried drawing it in but honestly I, I should have spent more time on it in the long run but I just really wanted to get this video out so I can do the 2.3 overview in retrospect I think I drew the character a little too realistic maybe I could have done a much more cartoony style for it to fit the cartoony look that this entire <laughs> piece has but it's okay, I did it. I, I grinded my teeth and, and just plowed through. Um, definitely over this weekend, I'm gonna be practicing some more figure drawing and, and portrait drawing, because I definitely want to get better at it. So I've been watching a lot of tutorials. I bought some brush pens so I can start practicing. I think it's, it's definitely where I wanna end up going, is just the um, 
making characters. So that's uh that's about it. Uh, that was Blender. Uh, 2.83 you can download this project file in the link below it's on my gumroad it i love when people download my project files and use them it's it brings me a lot of joy so i hope you download it check it out if you have any questions oh the project file should be open in 2.83 because if you open it up in 2.82 the colors are going to be messed up so just make note of that Thank you guys for watching this time lapse. I'm going to have another video soon going over the 2.3 features and the bugs and the things I ran into and the different workflows you have to work work in. So um, that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.